Wait, I... Yeah, it was that, wasn't it? What the? Always trying to be the hero. Never stopping to think first. Now, now, look where it's got you. Oh shit, he found himself. Must be going into shock. You said you had to keep walking until you met yourself. Well, here I am. No damage. Keep on his tail if he gets out of jamming range we've had it. Standby weapon system. Prepare to fire. What happens if he doesn't report in? I don't know, but I do know what'll happen if he gets away. Oh, yeah. Stand by. Massacre if it gets away. Fire! Oh! It's gonna run us. Hard to point. Fire! The debris was amazing! Take a while, will it? Wait a minute. I'm picking up an energy surge. Distance, 5,000 kilometers. Show me. Oh, ah, so oh, shit. There's so many. That's a lot of ships. That's a bloody awful lot of ships. Jump engines back online yet? No. If I signal the fleet, this lot might pick it up. If they do, we can't get away. Well, oh, how? Who wants to live forever? I do, actually. Oh. What the hell? Signal away. The signal. I heard. Tell the others to follow us in. I just hope Ivanova got out in time. Oh, my, 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 my. Jump engine's not working. Engines? Not yet. They're getting closer. I know. Estimate they're three hours from the system's primary target, less than 20 minutes from us. Oh! Uh -huh. Will they be back online in 20 minutes? You know what your problem is? All your life, you've run away from everything. Home didn't work out. You wouldn't talk to your father, so you just walked away. You didn't have the patience for a long internship back home, so you just ran off and started hitchhiking on starships. Oh! You didn't want to turn over your precious notes on Minbari biology during the war, so you just burned them instead and walked away again. And right now, you are running away. From him. From everything. <coughs> Don't you die on me yet. One of them has picked us up, moving to intercept. Okay, this is it. Stand by. Picking up an energy spike. Dylan? Oh my god, I love these ships. They can hear me from here. Yes. <gasps> this is Captain John Sheridan to attack fleet. Have your telepaths start jamming their capital ships. Oh man, this is awesome. Oh, he's, he's a bit, uh... Fighters, they put escort ships in front as buffers between our telepaths and their big ships. Oh. Take them out any way you can and clear the way. Sunhawks and other medium-class ships provide escort for our big guns. Everyone else, break and attack. I mean, what, what do you want? What could you possibly want? I want to do it all again. <laughs> Why? You just mess it up again. You... Ah. Ah. Where do you think you're going? I wanna, I wanna do it again. Do what again? Life? I wanna, I wanna do it again. Is that right? <sighs> then get up off the damn floor. <sighs> I don't care how much it hurts. <sighs> don't you go passing out on me, because that's just another kind of running away. <sighs> I can take responsibility. Show me that you want it. Get up off the damn floor. God, his conscience is like his dad, isn't it? That's come on. Come on. Get up on your own two feet. Stand up. Stand up. Engines online. Bloody hell. Damage aboard! Targeting system hit! Go manual! They better get out of this, man. They're trying to outflank us. Carrier groups, come about and engage. Transit ships are 
surrounded. Ibari cruiser and Philly. Pull back. Protect the draws. Oh! They better do their job. Help me! Help me! Why is no one helping him? Help me! Help me! I don't want to do it again! Help me! Help. Bloody hell! Get him to the doctor's lab! I heard about Franklin. How is he? Serious but stable. He lost a lot of blood. Dr. Hobbs said it's practically a miracle he could walk that far. The knife cut pretty deep into the muscle tissue on the way in. Oh! So how'd it go out there? We did okay. Not great, but okay. We turned back their attack, but we lost a lot of ships. For every one of their ships we killed, two of ours were destroyed. This time oh we had God. the advantage. We knew where they were going to attack. Next time we don't? So Still, it's the first time we managed to bring all the League worlds together and organize them into a fighting force. That counts for a lot. She got points. So here's the big question. Now that we've shown them we can hurt them, how long until they come knocking at our front door? Yes. That's what worries me. It's only a matter of time before they come after us. Mm. The only questions are how and when. Perhaps they're reluctant to try. Vral has made the great machine on the planet below available to our defense. I suspect his weapons could stop even a shadow vessel. Maybe, but that's the only thing I love how Dral's still like helping out last behind year. the We're scenes. Duck. So what are you saying? They're deliberately leaving us alone? That's possible. I mean, they haven't exactly been shy about hitting anybody else around here. That is that's true. The obvious question is why. Is he all right? Captain? Do you know who I am? You okay? What? I'm not sure. Ever since Kosh died, I've been remembering a dream. Last year when I was hurt, he got inside my head. He spoke to me. Mm -hmm. Sent me these images. One of them was you saying, do you know who I am? A week later, you tell me you're a latent telepath. Mm -hmm. Said you sometimes don't know who you are. Is it possible he knew? I don't see how, but the image fits. Do you remember anything else? God, imagine if Kosh did know. Well, at one point, I was wearing the uniform of a psycho. Well, we're working with Bester now, and that was unexpected. So that tracks. Anything else? He sent me an image of Garibaldi saying, The man in between is searching for you. Yes! The man in between, he could have meant Sinclair. Maybe, but I don't think so. Somehow it doesn't feel right. The last thing was you, dressed all in black, as if for a funeral. You said... You are the hand. Why would I say anything as dopey sounding as that? Oh, no. If Kosh sent it, it must have meant something. Odd that he would use that image, though. Why? Well, you have two hands, do you not? Each equal and opposite. So you're saying that the man in between is your equal and opposite? Maybe. The man in between knows who you are now that we've kicked him hard and where it hurts. Assuming it means anything. I mean, signs, portents, dreams. Next we'll be reading tea leaves and chicken entrails. All we do know is that we are vulnerable now. Yeah. Oh, I want to fly I'm by scared. At all times. We should expect something to be coming our way sooner or later. And the way our luck works, it'll probably be sooner. Commander, I just thought you ought to know. We just had somebody come on board. Zach. <laughs> This is a space station. We get 50 ships a day. There's always someone coming on board. Yeah, but this is major. It concerns the captain. Well, who is it? Whoever it was needed to look at the map. So it can't be Morden. Must be Delenn. I'm Anna Sheridan, John's wife. Well, this has took a turn, hasn't it? Holy balls! 
Jesus Christ, I was loving this episode. Seeing Marcus and Ivanova go off on the White Star and go to Sector 83 to scout what was going on to the area where all the refugees were kind of, you know, congregating and kind of, like, hiding out, waiting for these shadow vessels to appear and to watch what they were doing, basically, to keep an eye on them, only to then find out that the shadows also use scout ships as well was interesting because we've not really seen that before. We've only really seen, like, the actual full shadow ship so to know they've got these scouts going out there keeping an eye on things is really interesting seeing the battle was amazing that then ensued because they kind of came out kind of from behind that planet so they kind of came out of the eclipse so it was like holy shit like that was brilliant i love when we lost sound as well and we couldn't hear what anybody was saying that was really cool because it kind of felt like you were part of it and like the confusion of it and if there was an explosion and you would lose your hearing and that was really clever i thought that was a really good way to portray a part of a battle like that and just seeing the way john and delen were with it were with each other in this episode was really nice to see like like how close they are now is is brilliant but then seeing the end there where i was like oh who the hell is this why is someone coming out of what possibly is like a, an escape pod or a shuttle from a, a shadow ship going to the station i genuinely thought it was morden and then when the the person looked at that map i was like hang on why would morden need to check a map for zach to then contact ivanova you're like oh hang on like he would only contact her if it was, like, necessary and if, if it was something quite bad. Only for then this lady to arrive and then me being like, oh, shit, this is, like, Delenn's flash forward from War Without End. She, she, she had the snow globe. Only for, like, this woman to be like, I'm John's wife. Shit. There was always, like, there was always that slight chance when Kosh and Delenn were talking to John and John was learning about what happened to his wife at Zaha Doom. And him saying she could be alive, she could be alive. But Delen and Kosh were always like, the chance is so slim because if she didn't conform, they probably killed her. For her to now be here puts that whole interrogation scene that John had with Morden in another light completely. And I just do not know what to, what to do. <laughs> I don't know even know how to process this and then seeing Stephen go through what Stephen was going through in this episode where he had to meet himself and his conscious self the himself that he met was very reminiscent of his dad and the way his dad would speak to him and he kind of portrayed that really well I thought to see Stephen like have to talk himself into wanting to live and to live not for the job but to live for himself was an interesting angle to to see here but I don't like that with Z minus two days. Like, things have gone to shit, man. Things have gone to shit. I'm going to sign off and say thank you, and I will see you guys later, so thank you.